Detention, if we may. <laughs> Thank you all for being here at Marcus Books, America's oldest African-American owned independent bookstore. And we have a 50 year legacy. We are honored, and I say that very humbly, to have three incredible leaders of San Francisco City and County. Mayor Ed Lee, who I've known for over 32 years. Supervisor of District 5, Christina Ogala. And especially Naomi Kelly, who I happen to have the pleasure and been blessed of working with her husband for a number of years. Again, on behalf of Marcus Bookstore family, we say thank you for being here and we are truly honored of your presence. Thank you very much, and it's uh, my pleasure to uh, join all of you this afternoon here uh, with our whole Office of Economic Development. We've got probably quite a few members of the uh, group here as well who've been working really hard uh, to work with the community about how do we continue revitalizing and keeping the faith up, uh, not only along Fillmore, but this whole community around it as well, because uh, it takes more than just a bookstore, but it begins with a bookstore uh, because within these walls, you're going to have a lot of history, a lot of appreciation for uh, the African American history and experience uh, in our country and in our city, but we need to do a lot more. And so uh, we're here today in kind of a celebration because uh, just in about the last two years since our uh, economic development office began really focused on the Fillmore. Uh, we've discovered that when you start working with people uh, and not dictating to them, but really finding out what the needs are and uh, bringing in some additional resources and attention, uh, you can get a dramatic turnaround. And in fact, the last two years, guess what? The vacancy rate was 35% just two years ago. Now it's only 14% as a result of this very focused effort going on. That's a dramatic change around on, on this whole Fillmore area. Now, there's, there's still more work to be done, but it's an incredible uh, 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 effort that's going on here. And uh, I wanted to uh, share this moment with Supervisor uh, Olagi uh, because I know she and I share the same passion, not only about supporting small businesses, but about the actual people that they hire, which are local people residents of this area that probably wanting to look for opportunities not to work in a big firm but just be locally employed and having uh, uh, to be able to, to have their own destinies determined by what they do with their own hands. And so uh, today there's kind of like three areas of great pride that we're announcing with the help of our city administrator and all of the different uh, departments that are here. I know uh, Rhonda Simmons is on workforce development. Jen Matz is here as the head of Office of Economic Development. And uh, the first thing is to note that we have some seven new businesses about to open sometime this year, all along Fillmore, uh, between Post and McAllister. Uh, and uh, I can't name them all because I can't remember every part of the notes that are given, but there are restaurants uh, predominantly. Uh, uh, but there's a social club, a uh, restaurant, uh, Progress restaurant opening up soon, uh, something called the, uh, the Prime Dip or the Dip. <laughs> uh, the City Grange, I think, is another name of a restaurant that will be opening up later on uh, this year. Uh, they're all in various stages. They're all opening up in this area because people are beginning to feel a vested confidence. And that's what we've been trying to do at City Hall is make sure we have that kind of conversation so we can support small businesses, support their effort to hire local folks. In addition to those seven businesses, we also have, uh, through the efforts of uh, Jan and uh, Amy Cohen and all their staff working together to put more resources out here. So we're announcing the uh, unveiling of a request for proposal to select an entity that will help market and bring more events to this area so we can 
dramatically increase the, the uh, pedestrian uh, attention all along Fillmore. We think we need to take advantage of the recovering economic times by telling people what they can really gain by coming down here and spending their local dollars. And so it is worth it to put out a proposal there and attract an entity that will help market all of the wonderful, uh, diverse businesses here, including the bookstore, but at the same time, all the different restaurants and different small shops. We need that kind of marketing. We need it to be part of uh, the whole sales pitch for uh, America's Cup, uh, for when uh, the Chinese New Year's uh, parade is in town. When we bring in hundreds of thousands of people, they need to come down to the Fillmore and experience all of the diverse shops that are down here because they'll be that much more happier uh, to spend their money and to, the, to experience this culture that's evolving down here. And then finally, the third part of this announcement is we are Supervisor Lagi putting our money where our mouth is, right. which is what she reminds me. Don't just talk. Do it. And part of doing it is you look at the facades that need refreshing here. You, you help the small businesses. If they've got graffiti problems or if there are things that have been aged, let's put some money out there. That's why we wanted uh, such a strong effort uh, working between the Board of Supervisors and the Mayor to promote small businesses, uh, to give not only a policy discussion, not only recognizing the employment that it has, but putting invaluable amounts of resources behind it. And so we've got some, about $140,000 uh, in facade improvements that we're going to be letting out very soon to hit some 23 uh, different storefronts that encompass about 16 different buildings all along Fillmore to freshen them up, to give them a good facade look so that people can see visually on the outside uh, these refreshed improvements. And they'll be even more inviting to walk in spend their money, engage themselves in a wonderful community. This is just three of, I think, many more announcements that we have planned. Uh, when Supervisor Locke, when she's through with her terms, uh, and we expect her to be here, uh, she's going to have advised me and everybody else how wonderful her district is. And uh, it's going to be a place where, I think, down the road, uh, the money, the, the, the economic recovery will speak for itself. But it begins with a little help, with a little attention, with not forgetting, uh, the, the, I think, the preciousness of diverse cultures in our city. And that's what we're doing today. We're announcing that. We're, we're, uh, we, we have such a great basic work that OEWD has already begun. And we're going to just capitalize on that. So when the economy is showing signs of recovery, we can direct people to all the places that they'll want to be. And I want to share this moment with our wonderful local bookstore, with all the people that have engaged the conversation here. And you're going to see uh, a lot more changes come by. But I think in a very short time, people will feel the success here. And then they'll be complaining about gentrification. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. <laughs> So before I introduce Supervisor Alagi, I just wanted to uh, recognize that it, the foot traffic along Fillmore Street is very important for the success of this Fillmore Merchants Corridor. So we're very happy that we're here with Greg and Karen Johnson at Marcus Bookstore. This has been such an institution to the community, the African American community, the Fillmore District, understanding our heritage and a place where we can come. I also want to thank some of those merchants that have been here who moved to the Fillmore District uh, Agenoffer with Rosaleses. He was one of the first merchants to move here when uh, the Fillmore District started off and he moved his, his restaurant over here to kind of get everything started on Fillmore Street. And I also see New Chicago Barbershop, as you know, you, again, it's where we spend our local dollars. I have three heads of hair to get cut there on a regular <laughs> basis. Um, and so I, I am here on Fillmore Street and see it. Um, and then all the new businesses. There's Melora and Melanie, and I work with both of them. I've had the honor of working with them over the last eight years and all the art work that they have starting out of the African American Art and Cultural Complex, and I'm so excited to see that they're at 1307 Fillmore Gallery, 1307 Gallery. So um, I just wanted to kind of recognize we're so happy that we have, we're 
increasing the merchants along Fillmore Street because, again, the foot traffic is everything for the vitality of our local businesses. And so with that, I'd like to introduce Supervisor Christina Alagi. I'm just, um, I wanted to welcome all of you. It looks like we're going to have a huge entourage as we wander down Fillmore Street, and I hope we do. Um, I just uh, didn't feel it was right to start a Fillmore Merchant Walk without starting at Marcus Bookstore, which in my mind is an institution uh, for the entire city of San Francisco and, and really the nation when you think that it's managed to survive for 30 years, even given the Fillmore redevelopment history here. So I think we need to give a hand of applause to Mr. Uh, Mr. John, 32 years, yeah, 32 years, yeah. And um, over the years, I've come occasionally on, the, on New Year's to get my Malcolm X calendar because you're one of the few people that carried it. But also as a woman of color, I've, um, I've learned a lot about my own experience as a person of color in this country from um, people from the African-American community, writers who've, who've written about their experience, whether it's artists, um, novelists, poets, uh, like June Jordan and, and the rest of them. So sometimes I've come over here to also uh, just to try to understand a little bit more about my own experience as a woman of color in this country. So I wanted to uh, point out, uh, this is one of the facade improvement um, approvals that we've seen. Uh, so hopefully we'll be uh, seeing Marcus Books all spruced up shortly. We'll make sure that we get on this. And um, we just want you to know that we're here. Uh, I'm really um, happy that the mayor, uh, the mayor's office, Naomi, uh, Callie and everyone else is here, Mayor's Office of Economic and uh, Wor Workforce Development, uh, Rhonda Simmons, our friends from Urban Solutions, and everyone who's very invested in seeing this community uh, thrive, uh, to see uh, young people put to work in this community. Uh, there's been a lot of violence a and has been for years. We want to make sure that youth uh, feel like they have some opportunities and some hope, and the only way uh, they can feel that way is if we're cognizant of the fact that they need to be employed. Uh, so um, I'm just happy to be here. Um, I hope this is just the first of many walks. And uh, we just want to make sure that we're accountable um, and that uh, we continue to communicate because we won't uh, know what the real concerns are unless we come here, we see it firsthand, and we talk directly to uh, constituents and business owners. So we're committed, and uh, we want to hear from you. Uh, so that we can continue to see this uh, community thrive. Thank you. We, <clears throat> again, we, we thank you all for being here today on this beautiful, balmy San Francisco day. Um, <clears throat> we like to go into action. As everyone here has stated, there is more than just talk taking place. We're not just about talk. We are about action. The words that come out of our mouth match the activity that we are involved in. And so, without any further delay, we'd like to, again, thank you and proceed down the corridor to the various businesses that are located here. So you'll get a chance, if you don't already know, about the Fillmore Corridor and what it has to offer. Thank you. <laughs> 